What they taste? Good? Yeah. It's science time. Now, we've already got our electrodes and everything set up. Well, let's do it like this here. I'll help you out a little bit with the stick. One fork in there. See whether or not the clock lights up, my man. Okay, now we put one of these zinc strips in here. Do they make now check the this out. No, the lemon's what's making the electricity. This is just... Are these gonna shock you? No, they're not gonna shock you. Now, what do we have? Powered up the clock. Look at that. Is that not incredible? Yeah. Okay, do you want to try it on the other fruits now? Yeah. Let's do it. I think okay. it only works on some Here, un fruits. unplug the, uh, these guys. Okay, we tried the lemon. What's next? Orange. Orange. No, it's not a section cut. Okay. It's insane. Okay, now what's the next fruit we're going to want to try? That's a hard question. An apple. I want to see what happens with an Let's apple. Let's see. Look, this is going to be kind of weird. Okay. Oh. Okay. Watch out so I can cut this safely. Well, all of those fruits worked. That's, I don't, I didn't expect the... All right, that's it. You ready? Why not? What? I mean, if the apple worked, and the plum worked, then maybe a banana will work. Okay. A bit off, a bit off a piece, but that's okay. It's for science. Okay. We've got our two separate bananas here. Let's start taking guesses. Woodrow, do you think it's gonna work? I don't know. Mom, do you think it's gonna work? No. Okay. I'll split the difference. I think it's gonna work. Yeah, I mean. We've got a fork there. We've got a thing there. Here, hold that fork up for me. Like this, Dave, like I'm doing, so you're not. All right, I'm gonna keep it upside down so you can't see. All right, what do you think? It worked. It worked. Something's happening here. We've been, we've been duped. It worked. Can you believe it? Do it real quick. <laughs> oh, come on. The forks act like positive electrode of a battery. Hey, the forks are plated with metal, which is less reactive than zinc. And these things, I thought I would just help out today. These things are made with zinc. Now here's the difference. Most of the experiments that we do are done with things that you can just kind of find yourself in the kitchen. And while, of course, most everybody can get simple fruits and you probably have some forks laying around. We get it that a little watch connection with wires and little, there's not, not everybody has little zinc electrodes laying around the house. But 
couple of weeks ago, we were just walking around Hobby Lobby because mom wanted to go there. And we saw this science section and they actually have these little, like they call them like lemon watch sets for like $5 or something, or maybe less. The way it works is these forks are plated with a metal that's less reactive than these zinc plates. So when you insert them into a lemon or one of the fruits, there's a chemical reaction that happens. And in that chemical reaction, basically all the electrons inside of the lemon juice go from the zinc plates to the fork. And that essentially, very kind of the simple explanation, is what powers the clock. I think I know why like those electrons go back and forth and mm -hmm. it makes electricity because when they go back and forth, they're rubbing on each other. And when you rub your hands together, it gets warm and it's making electricity. It's making energy for sure. Um, and, and so that lemon juice helps to conduct the electricity. And that's why I think also, but I will say the one, which one of the fruits that we tried was the most surprising to you that it worked? Banana. Definitely. And apples. The apple was the first surprise. The plum, I thought maybe, the banana, I thought no way in the world would it, would it work. I think every fruit works. Yeah, it even says to try with a potato, but we just didn't have a potato laying around. We're very low carb. Thank you very much for watching, watching. Ask. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> Science Sunday with Wood. Yes, thank you very much for watching. And thank you to everybody that watches these and sends us the videos of doing the experiments. They say thank you to Jonah. Thank you, Jonah. For sending us the one that you did with the colorful rainbow fizz experiment that you did. That was pretty awesome. I'm glad that you liked it. And you get to drink a little lemon juice. Oh, let me do it too. Here.